ever get that feeling? You know the one, that ache for something more, that just wanting to feel whole, like mm -hmm. truly whole. Yeah. That's what we're diving into today with mm -hmm. Whole Again, taking a look at all those, those raw emotions yeah. that are baked into the lyrics. So Whole Again, it's by Kurt Holes, right? It is, yeah. And it's interesting like how the song just, it captures this, <laughs> This really universal yearning, right? Yeah, and I think it's something that we can all really relate to, right? I mean, we've all had those moments where we just feel a little bit lost or a little bit off, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's it's something that I think a lot of people experience, you know, maybe after a loss or a breakup or, you know, even just uh, a period of burnout. Right. Where you just, you don't feel like yourself. You know? It's like starting the day, like with this weight on your chest. Yeah. And that's how the song starts. <laughs> Woke up today feeling heavy, empty heart and mind so weary. <laughs> yeah, those are some some heavy words right there. But I think that, you know, when you really sit with the lyrics heavy and weary, they really paint this picture of someone who is just completely emotionally exhausted, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, think about a time in your own life where, you know, maybe you went through a really difficult breakup or just a period of intense stress. That's kind of the space that this song immediately pulls us into, right? Totally. It's from that place of just feeling heavy, feeling weary, mm -hmm. you know? And I think it's from that place that the, the, the search for relief begins, right? The search for that magic potion, you know, that will just make everything better. Ugh, the magic potion. Right. Don't we all just want that easy button? Exactly. For our it's, feelings. Yeah. If only it were that easy, right? But the song reminds us mm -hmm. it's not that easy. No. How many pills until I feel whole? How many more to find my soul? That's such a powerful line. And I think that repetition of how many, right? Yeah. It really emphasizes just this cyclical nature of searching for wholeness. You know, mm -hmm. we keep searching. We keep questioning. We're hoping for that one thing mm -hmm. that will make us feel complete. And I think the image of pills is really interesting here, right? Yeah. Because it highlights this very human tendency to seek these tangible solutions right. for these really complex internal struggles. You know, yeah. it's like we want to believe that there's a quick fix, a pill we can take yeah. that will suddenly make us feel whole again. But as the song suggests, it's rarely that simple. Yeah. And, you know, it makes you think, can something external even actually address this, this deep yearning, you know, for for wholeness in your soul. That's such a great point. Yeah. And I think that contrast between pills and soul, right? Mm. It's so jarring, mm. so thought provoking. And it really makes you question the nature of healing and wholeness itself. Mm -hmm. You know, is it about treating the symptoms or is there something more, something deeper, more internal that needs to be addressed? And it's interesting because, you know, that search for answers, it continues in the second verse. Yeah. Saw the doctor, stumbled through town, same old answers never found. Ugh. Yeah. Who hasn't been there, right? No, right? It's like you're going through the motions seeking guidance, but the advice just doesn't seem to resonate, you know? Right. It's that frustrating experience of not feeling heard or understood in your pain. Yeah. And you're looking for something specific, something that addresses that root cause. Mm -hmm. And instead, you're met with these generic platitudes that just don't seem to cut it. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Take a breath and hold while life unfolds. Right. Easier said than done. Right. I mean, there's this real tension there, right? Yeah. Between seeking control and surrendering to the unknown, take a breath, mm. versus let it unfold. It's like we're caught between wanting to fix things and accepting the uncertainty. And then we're in this struggle and then like a glimmer of hope. Yes. The bridge waiting for the dawn. Oh, so it's such a powerful shift in tone, isn't it? Yeah. It goes from this feeling of being lost and searching mm. to this like glimmer of hope, a yearning for something better. Yeah. And that repetition of waiting for the dawn is so powerful. It introduces this sense of anticipation, right? Like even in the darkness, mm. there's a belief that a new day is coming, you know, yes. a fresh start. Yeah. Where did it go? Uh, line gets me every time. Yeah. Where did it go? Where did what's go? Right. Like, is it that wholeness, that spark, that feeling of being fully alive? Right. And it's different. Right. For everybody. But it's this universal feeling of loss. It is. And I think the fact that it's left open to interpretation. Right. It just makes it hit even harder because mm -hmm. we can all bring our own experiences and our own losses to that line. Yeah. 
and and it adds another layer of meaning. And just as we're kind of sitting there, right, with that question, we're taken back to the chorus. Yes. How many pills until I feel whole? It's like this reminder, isn't yeah. it? That the search for wholeness, it's ongoing. Yeah. And it's not always going to be easy, right? It's a process. It's a journey. Yes, exactly. It's a journey. Mm -hmm. It's not this straight line to wholeness. It's more like a winding road Yes. with its detours and its U-turns. And you know what? Maybe that's okay. Maybe the journey itself with all of its ups and downs, that's part of what makes us whole. It makes you think, what does it even mean to you to feel whole? And what does your journey look like? That's a great question. Think about it.